pair of magnetized objects can attract or repel depending upon the orientation. Each is surrounded by its magnetic field. So consider a beam of moving charged particles, around which you'll find a magnetic field. Bring a magnet to this beam, and the interplay of magnetic fields results in a deflecting force on the beam. Charged particles flying at us from outer space that pose a danger to Earth are likewise deflected by Earth's magnetic field. This deflection luckily protects us. The Earth's magnetic field is concentrated at its poles, where deflected charged particles ionize atoms in the upper atmosphere, creating the northern and southern lights. The aurora. Consider a wire passing between the poles of a horseshoe magnet. Electrons passing through the wire create a magnetic field. The interaction between this magnetic field and the field of the horseshoe magnet causes a deflection of the wire. Reverse the current, and the deflection is also reversed. Now, consider the magnetic needle of a compass hovering under loops of a wire. What might happen when a current passes through the loops? The needle will turn. And the greater the current, the greater its tendency to turn. Okay. Now let's add a spring to push back against the turning needle, which you then attach to a coil of many loops. The stronger the current, the greater the needle will push against the spring. Add some calibration, and you've created an electric meter. Take away the spring and create a system where the wire loop is free to rotate between two poles of a magnet. Add an electric current, and the loop will rotate to the attractive magnetic pole. And if at that moment you flip the direction of the electric current, the loop will then proceed toward the other magnetic pole. Keep flipping the current, and the loop keeps rotating. You have what we call an electric motor. Students studying history should not overlook how knowledge of magnets, moving electrons, and the forces they produce have truly changed human history. The interplay between magnetic fields and electric currents have elevated humankind how those prescience times would have benefited by knowledge that decreased dependence on animals and human toil. Good energy.